Hello and welcome. I am JV with the Cyber New Team, and today we're going to go over how to map a shared drive to our Windows 10 machine or Server 2012 or 2016. Um, the instances as to why you would ever do that is if, let's say, you would like to easily access a folder or uh, just a drive in general that is not located on your own computer, you can just map it and then click right to it. It's just a way to easily access that folder or drive itself. So the way we do this is by going to the bottom here to our little file explorer and then clicking on this PC and then you're gonna click at computer at the top here and as you can see there's a map network drive right here so we're gonna go ahead and click that and then this is where you can specify what drive letter you want it to have normally you just have a C drive that's where you're gonna store your Windows uh, operating system and in this instance we want to just go ahead and call it uh, we're gonna go with the Z drive and then this is where you specify either this the workstation name, the server name, the computer name, whatever you would like to call it, um, with a backslash backslash. And in this instance, since I don't have anything to access besides my own computer, I'm going to put the IP in it, but you can also use a host name as well, or the computer name. And in this instance, I'm going to use the IP of my own computer, which is 127.0.0.1. And I want to map that to the C drive of my computer. And then if I wanted to, I can also do another backslash and specify the folder I want this to be connected to immediately. So with this, reconnect.signon, you can just keep that checked because every time you log off, log back on, you wanted to have that drive that you just mapped. So we're gonna go ahead and finish here. And then, as you can see now, we go back to this PC. There's a network locations, and it's going to specify that location that I gave it in the earlier step right there. And as you can also see, it is the Z drive rather than the C drive. And it maps directly to the Windows file directory within my C drive. And with that, that is how you map a shared drive to your personal computer, client, server, whichever you're using at the time. And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and we cannot wait to see you again.